Um. I mean, maybe this is a mm. default. We're not the beginning of the game, are we? What? Oh. <laughs> you loaded the wrong. I was in bird one. save. Wait, why why did you have bird save? I'm not supposed to. Oh. Did he borrow your game? He's borrowing my game. Properties. Dates. Enable Steam Cloud synchronization. We are the luckiest ducks ever. So I was actually going to say this before we were going to start the episode or as we were starting the episode, and we might as well now that that's happened. So for starters, Bird's borrowing my game so he doesn't have to buy it himself, because, I mean, it's a nice thing to do. I'm not using it. Uh, one of my fears whenever I play a game that works entirely off of a uh, autosave... Oh, autosave. ...is what if you hit new game and it overwrites your autosave? Like, what then? Mm-hmm. Like, I hate that in game. I hate that, and we got so lucky there. All right, so we have a couple of options here. They're not great ones. So, apparently, I really should be guessing past these things, and I should probably go back and take a look at stuff. So we're gonna go do that, even if it's kind of time-consuming. Yeah, it'd sort of be bad if we continued forward only knowing that one puzzle. I don't remember- okay, this is the way to go, it's just like weirdly <laughs> stuck. Yeah, so I, I'm not supposed to be- uh, I'm not supposed to be guessing my way past these bridges, which we all know. Like, that- that shit's obvious. Um... And we missed a very obvious clue back elsewhere. See, that would just be another puzzle. Yeah, but if we can get this bridge open. Oh, right. I'm supposed to press the dongly button. Uh, if I can get, get this bridge open. Uh, then we've got our way back, presumably. Almost there. But it's just bizarre, because you're... Don't ask me how my guessing skills, they're, they're false and wrong. You haven't even looked at it yet to see if you're right. Of course I'm not right, I'm just guesstimating, because I... I'm hoping this teleporter will bring us back to town, and I don't have to walk the entire way back. Oh, I see. But I guess realistically, I should probably just walk the way back. Yeah, let's just do that instead of guessing our way past another puzzle. Seems like. Is there a book over there or something, or just a, a light? Book? It's probably just a light. Uh, well, yeah, one light. way or another, I can't. I can't yeah. leave this path, so it's not like it really matters. Uh, this is gonna take some traveling, too, because I don't know the f uh, I kind of know a fast way here. No, I don't. Oh, yep, there's that. Yeah. We go back here. I don't remember if there are any other alternative paths. Yeah, we're pretty deep into it. Uh, we might even be actually fairly close to the end of the game-ish. But because we've missed so many clues here and there, or, like, things by, like, Really, it's just the password system. Sort of. There's the password system. Apparently, we're supposed to have been able to get into, into the mayor's house. I'm just going to wander around for a bit, because I actually didn't go through some of this. Wait, this is... That was the same place we just were. No, 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 no. Wait. What? That was the same path. W you're right. Huh. You went around in a circle. That's really interesting. I, I did. I just noticed that the, the rocks were exactly the same. Yeah, so there's... What? Okay. So that's significantly less useful than I wanted it to be, but I guess we have a bunch of alternative paths now. I just don't remember which one gets us back. I need a map and understanding. The last time we played this was like... A couple... Last week? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, actually. It's been a while. Yeah, okay. We already saw the video in that one, right? Yeah, we did. That's where we first ran into him. 
I'm just trying to figure out the exact route we can get back to uh, town with. Because, yeah, we, we kind of skipped a lot. I mean, if you can miraculously figure out your way to get to that other there thing. The, oh, right, there's the bridge here. Oh, right, right, right. And which we, we leave there, back. but if I come down here? Was there another device? Well, there's another bridge there, but there's the, um... There's the original device, device we took in. Yeah, which we can use to get to and from, I think. Yeah, here we go. Mm-hmm. Okay, so let's, let's just use this one. Well, let's go back. Let's see if we can actually suss out some puzzles. Press this button as hard as we can. There we go. Ow. <laughs> Don't hurt yourself now. Hey. Well, it wasn't that I was hurting myself. It was the... There was like a... <coughs> noise as it activated. And I was like... Ow. Okay. So we've got that. Yay. Um, okay. So we've got two places we need to go to. We need to go to the tower. Which we don't know the key for and we don't know where that is. We don't want to mess with this. Though I will admit... Do we need to take that bridge anywhere? I don't remember there being anything on that side. So let's just, just assume not. Just go into the wall. E uh, what? What? Wall? No, no, not that wall. Like the edge of the world kind of wall. Oh, yeah. Oh, right, no, this is actually going to bring us exactly where we need to go, I think, anyway. What we need to do is get to the junkyard. So, uh, we, we did a podcast with our good buddy, uh, Sebastianus B. And yep, he, and we were talking about, you know, how far we had gotten in the game and such, and, and he's he was like, super confused, because apparently we managed to, like, bypass all of the important things. Ah. Yeah, because you could have kept guessing those puzzles, yeah. but it'd be nice to actually figure out the number system. I was confused this whole time because I was so used to finding notebooks and things that would tell you how to work through the puzzles in the other worlds, but... We it's, hadn't come across it. Yeah, I think it's a combination of really bad luck, a la that camcorder. Uh, the... Unfortunately... I don't know. <laughs> no, I wouldn't want to say lack of observation, but... I, I mean, thought we read everything Yeah, in I don't house. think we've really actively missed much, if that makes sense. Like, we've never gone out of our way. To... Oh, didn't you need to go down to the junkyard? Yeah, but I think I need to turn this on first, yeah. But you need to get the power to it first. Yeah, so apparently... Or you had to go back down to the train. In the junkyard, yeah. Yeah, I'm just trying to remember exactly how we get there. Are you sure you don't take that one? It looks like it just takes you to another desert area. Uh, no, that brings us to the, the rocky area. We don't want a teleporter, we want one of the edges of the world. But it's been long enough that I've forgotten. Unfortunately, this game should not be played in spaced out settings, and of course, I put out like 10 videos a day, so I can only play this every once in a while. Like everything else. Looks like it's pretty short, though. Uh... Because apparently when we had talked to Keith the other day, he was 30 minutes from ending the game, and he had no idea. So... I thought we were just here. We were. We're... we are going here. What we need to do is go back up here. Alright. Go all the way back here. This is kind of a lengthy trip. Oh, that's the side wall, yeah. Yeah. We need to do this trip. Go through... Harley's house. And go through the... Train track. Though somebody said there was a... Book that we had missed in this in passage. Here. So let's look around. Yeah. It's not in this passage, it's on a table down here. That describes her, like, yeah, number system. Heart. I mean, we had seen the barnacles, but... Yeah. And we've got this. But these are larval notes. Apparently there's supposedly a book down here? On one of these tables. I mean, that's just Yeah, myths. these are back or reward items, that's the problem. I think maybe the reason why I missed it is specifically because it's not obvious. Oh, it's in the room with the eagle. Ah, it's this one, probably. Yeah, I was I just started ignoring stuff because back reward items over and over. Oh. Okay, yeah, so this is actually important. I I don't I like the back reward items, they're neat, but the fact you that started. we found more of them than clues is has definitely thrown me off, which is why we didn't find this book. Okay, so 
The Valain, they, I can't find the words, it's such a foreign life cycle, or perhaps not. They launch themselves across the expanse of space, preserved for eons, until at last their technological arcs can hone in and carry them to a new home. They have no connection with their predecessors, but in spite of this, perhaps because of this, they have amazing recollections of their history. Their stories are epic, reaching back through the aeons. Unlike many of us who were abducted, they were abducted as a whole. Their scoop moved an entire facility that was about to be uh, annihilated. I have come to believe that they, perhaps more than any of us, have a deeper understanding of whatever this strange system is that we find ourselves in. I need to write this down. We buried Ji Yoon today. This place never really agreed with her, kept to herself mostly, depressed and downcast. Anyway, I digress. I stayed after the brief words were spoken. I was the last to leave. I wandered to the dome, as I often do, and looked out at the undulating Saurian weirdness beyond the cell wall. Movement caught my eye. Now, on very rare occasions, we've been seen Mofang scrambling about in the distance. But there have been fewer and fewer sightings over the years. But before me was a tall, haggard Mofang running desperately, almost directly towards me from one of the distant structures. It, I still can't tell the gender, got closer and closer. I thought it would see me and stop, or turn around, or be curious about this strange dome and our world inside it, but it continued running quickly, almost directly to my position. I was frozen in place with curiosity until my reflexes took over at the last moment and I leapt out of the way, but rather than hit the dome and fall backward, or come through into Hunrath, the dome flashed its familiar tone, and the Mofang vanished. I was stunned for a bit, but I retrieved my wits and stepped in into the dome. Myself into quickly, okay, blah, blah, blah. Into the dome myself. I see, that's the right pronoun, uh, mm -hmm. syntax. To quickly get to the other side. After getting through, I immediately turned around and saw the Mofang outside, on the other side of the dome still running away from whatever it feared, but as if it had no sense of passing around the dome. As surprising as the event was, it did serve to settle a few things in my mind. I always wondered how no one on Earth noticed what had replaced this chunk of Arizona we have here. Now I've got to vent. Again, there are those who argue with me. Over and over, I demonstrate that in almost every case, whatever the process was brought, us here, it occurred at a pivotal moment. They tell their stories, and they still can't admit the abduction actually saved each of us, all of us. But it is in human nature that grasps so strongly at the past, that we blame our saviors for stealing it from us? Okay, just one more event before bed. If each of us was individually saved from something, then maybe all of us were corporately saved from something larger. Can we really be sure what's left? And this, the arrivers come from various places and times. Sarah got here almost 15 years ago from the year 2055. And Viziel got here two and a half years ago from 1942. What does that mean? Time here is shuffled and chaotic compared to Earth. What state is Earth in right now? When is Earth right now? It's 3.15 a.m. and I feel compelled to, this, to journal this craziness after spending most of yesterday m mediating with the Arai and then... Meditating with oh, the Arai. Meditating? Yep. Oh, I would think that you would mediate with animals, but yeah, meditating. Okay, so she's listening to the barnacles. And then most of this evening discussing the nature of these worlds with CW. I had just a sip of infamous Hunrath hooch and collapsed in my chair. Well, I just awoke from a dream. I'm not one who puts a lot of credibility on dreams, but maybe the Arai were able to move something in me to understand. Or, possibly because of the intense discussion, my subconscious mind was triggered to be able to sort out some logical connections. Or maybe it was the hooch. The dream. I was tending a garden. An immense garden. And it wasn't for food or flowers. It was just about the health of the garden. I kept working and working to control it and contain it and make it healthier, but the garden seemed to fight at me at every turn. And after what seemed like days of work, I finally gave up in frustration, 
And as I stood there, doing nothing, the garden flourished before my eyes, growing and spreading in every direction. Because, I realized, the system that the plants were based on was not about me shaping and controlling. The natural system of the plants is healthier when they are out of control, when they are free to spread and intermingle and cross-pollinate and mutate. Now, from a human point of view that may not provide what I want, I get smaller fruit and smaller flowers and untidiness. But from that point of view of the plants, they grow stronger and much more resilient in resistance. Wait, she isn't saying this is what the thing trees want with humans and the other aliens, do they? In any case, the more they are scattered, the higher the odds of surviving. And now that I contemplate, I realize that even the individual plant seeds may not appreciate the benefit of what's happening. They are torn far from their origins, forced into situations that seem extreme, possibly even destroyed by these new environments. But for the seeds that survive, ah, the seeds that survive, now that's where real growth, strength, and abundance comes from. It's so beautiful and terrifying, beyond the beauty of it all as a system and structure that defies understanding. Okay, so what if this is all a natural process? There are signs of something beyond it all, but well hidden signs. So, well, if I look at all of this, the cell, the tree, the water, the seeds, the hub, the health, even the abductions, well, there seems to be a grand system, or plan. The plan doesn't take me into account. It is unemotionally intent on the health of something much bigger. That may hurt my feelings, but, well, what am I in the entire scheme of the universe? I have no idea what, if anything, might have put this process into motion, but that is irrelevant. Tomorrow, I will talk with CW. He could be swayed from his battery plan. That's put in yellow highlighter. I really don't journal much. I came to write this down because I'm distraught. As I contemplate the plan that I've set in motion, I realize that I've become the destroyer of worlds. I sat down to write, to seek some cathartic tranquilization, and realize the last thing I journaled was some es esoterically beautiful philosophy about letting the garden grow, not so reaffirming or calming. But nevertheless, here is my reasoning, because I must write this down. Simply, it's us or them. Complexly, if this is some kind of garden, and we're the plants, or seeds, or whatever. Well, some of us have gotten together and decided that we're the better choice to survive, if the others have unilaterally decided that we all won't survive. I am more fit, damn it. This is not me. I want to be calm, and garden, or ungarden, or grow, or... What gives one species the right to destroy another species? Who gets to choose? Do I just lay down and die because the more aggressive species thinks they're better, more powerful? What brutal scale do I use to measure the good of some against the life of others? Does love ever destroy in order to help more survive? Or to help love itself to survive? Does it even make sense? Can I kill because I think it is, it will bring about more love? What if I'm not even capable of understanding the situation of hate versus love? Maybe I'm the hater. Do I generate this love delusion to help me maintain my sanity in light of the choice I have made? My god, it's too much. If these are just my walls of delusion, then I chose to live within them. I am a seed, scattered by the wind. But I will not simply be trampled. I will kick and scream and survive. May god have mercy on my soul. Okay, that didn't have puzzles in it, but it gave us some insight. Yep. Well, there's nothing else here. That was an interesting book, I'll give it that, but... Mm. Uh, let's see. I heard that we'd missed something in the house. No, that was it. That's what we'd missed. Oh. At least that's... That's what I remember being told we missed. Because we checked this out, right? I yeah, this was so. the that was the guest book. There's this. We had already figured that out as one of the puzzles. Sorta, though I didn't have any good information on it. 
Nope, oh, you have to line up the corners. Yep, like that. Oh. Or can you flip the tray over? No. Oh, you can't. Really? Really. So you, you can't take the slide and turn it around? Nope. That's the only thing I can do. Oh, okay. Sadly. Mm hmm. I'm gonna fiddle with it for a second longer just to see if there's anything that makes more sense than lining up the corners. Interesting that not all the corners line up. Not awkward, really. Uh, let's see. Yeah, no, I don't remember if there's anything else that we've missed. We've read all of these. Yeah, nothing. Okay. Let's... we're going this way. I was so worried when uh, we loaded up for the first time today, and then it was and just it was like, just back at the beginning with yeah, the Yeah, with the red laser still going, and I was like, oh no. So how are we going to get into the tower? We gotta find a key code for that. My assumption is we find maybe a clue in the junkyard. We've also got the area below us, if you remember. Mm -hmm. That we've never gotten to. Well, with the we need to get the tunnels. garage open and everything. Yeah, we got several things here that we can do. But I wanted to, uh... I wanted to follow Keith's clue. Come here and see if there's that, uh, breaker. Or something to turn on the power in the junkyard. Because we never actually really investigated this area. Well, there's the... there's the sperm whale. I'm so tempted to sing the baby beluga song. But I know it's not the right one. Let's see. I'm also just legitimately curious where this breaker could be. Oh, hey, is it the wall? Yeah. Well, we've been through here. Oh, yeah, that we have. Which begs the question of where's that breaker? We had that thing up here. But we can't do anything with it, unfortunately. Yeah. Which is annoying, which means, oh, it's that, right there. I didn't see this, this Oh, it's ramp. a shovel! Uh, were we supposed to ride down in it? No. Yes. Yeah, because there was a button on the other side. Bring it back! Alright. Well, that's one way to do it. While we wait, let's look around for a second. Yeah, I saw this from the other side, but we never actually did anything with it. Which is dumb, because... Investigate everything. We were so distracted by other things, though, that like... I think we were rushing around to explore oh, the new edges. Did we ever teleport with that spheroid? Oh, no, no, no. Never mind, there wouldn't be anything. Okay. So we're on the roof. Yeah, so what kind of eldritch secrets are we gonna find here? Let's see if I can find a shortcut in first. Oh hey, that's humming. Or something. Yeah, there's some breakers. I think this is what we need. Um, oh, wait. Flip that up. Okay, that can should you, turn oh, on... Oh, wait. The garage and... Downtown. CW... Farley Caves. Yeah, so we need the garage in downtown. Now, can you pull that handle? No. No. Yeah, see, I think we just had to flip this on. Mm-hmm. Because downtown was never properly powered. And neither was the garage. Yep. Uh, speaking of... We're now in the garage. Ah, here we go. Okay, machine. One. Uh. Oh, wait, it is. So that's that, one. That's one. That's two. two. No, we don't want 23. That's three. Three. Okay. Four. What? Okay. Five. Interesting. 
It just adds oh, on. Oh, it's base four. Mm-hmm. Oh, so it adds a dash so to the top. So six is going to be two plus four. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the missed number system... Uh, Seven is it, gonna be... it would do the same thing in a way, except the fir the symbol used for the first ten, well, nine numbers technically would rotate around a square. Oh, interesting. It moved. No, oh, yeah. Maybe that's because it's a four times two. Oh, uh, kind of. But that was two. No, 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 like, four was just this, Yeah. eight is just that. Yeah. I'm just gonna take a bunch of these down. So I'm confused. I mean, it's it seems additive. I think part of the problem is I'm tired. So, puzzling this out specifically is annoying. That's eight plus four. Now, how are you going to get through all of these snaps? No, it's not. Snaps? What? I mean, I can press escape and go to photos and look through them. It means that we'd to. have to look at them in backwards order, wouldn't Yeah. Well, I mean, it would be easy enough. I think, what, most of the uh, panels only had five? I have sections no idea. Sections of the bridges? Like, I don't, I don't understand how it works yet. I'm just grabbing these so that if I do need to look it up, I can. Because the alternative is not fully understanding it and then getting frustrated, you know? So I'm wondering what number is the number associated with our... Uh... Yeah, see, this is my problem. Actually, that's a good thing. Um, can you squiggle into this Oh. and see what number pops out? Does it work the opposite way? Wait, what? Maybe there's no number higher than that. I'm kidding. No, we just had to do it from that one. 324. So that's 342. Oh, oh sorry. I read that backwards. I hope I'm not suffering from some kind of dyslexia. I said 324, over... not 342. Shucks. Yeah. See, this is the problem. All of the answers that I had always given for all of those bri bridge puzzles earlier, you know, when I was guesstimating, were... were in the hundreds. You think? Yeah. They were. Well, can you try connect this and then do a straightaway of that? Because I want to see what, except those ones have to be made black. The goopity goops. I don't think I can do that. Oh, you can't make something black again? Oh, yeah. I, I can. By pulling them apart. Oh. It's inconsistent. I think you have to pull away from the center or something. Or do you have to pull black across it? Oh, there you there go. It is. And what's the number? 406. That seems arbitrary. Oh. Yeah. Okay, let's look at things for a little while. I wonder if we can actually call this number. 1988. Interesting. What's on the back? Don't know I'm taking a screenshot of that, though. The manhole. A whimsical world where every character comes alive and every new hallway leads oh, to funny. another. funny. Let the child in your home or the child in your heart become the main character in an imaginative journey. Give me a second. What? <sighs> yeah, there it is. Manhole. Oh, yeah. It's, it's a game? Yeah, it's a game. It's one of the, uh, what was it? It was, like, one of their first games they ever made. Really? Yeah. Uh, By Prologue. 1988? Activation. Oh. Long time ago. Wait, is that Moldicola? 
Molecola. Molecola. Okay. I was like, is there mold? Really? Bunch of food, maybe turpentine? Oh no, that's Good. not food, that's motor oil. Don't drink it! Yep. What else we got around here? I'm looking for clues, seeing as we've been burnt in the past by not being thorough enough here. Let's see, a lot of wrenches. A lot of toolboxes. A lot of license plates. Yeah. Well, here, here's something important. Can open that up for future yep. use. That anything? No. It feels like this specific section of the junkyard only really useful for giving me a shortcut here, which is welcome. But still, okay. Let's see what else is around here. Problem is, I just I don't know if there is anything. Well, didn't we want to get to the other side of the river to get into that um? True. That one mining area. Yeah, I, I just meant in this specific zone. Is this place only useful for turning on a little bit of power? And, um, learning the, the base four numbering system. Which, like, I, I'm loath to do this, but I think I might actually have to look up a, a, a Steam explanation for how that, how that works. Because I legitimately have no idea what a base four numbering system is most of the time. Well, we have, we oh, have the base... The you know, five, ten. I mean, ten is technically when the numbers start. Yeah, we've also the next got this. Cycle. Oh. oh, hey. We did miss something. Oh. Well, that works. I'm taking a photo of it and a screenshot of it. Worksheet. The multi-purpose Valane control panel interface. This is the control panel that the Valane have supplied for our use. Although they are able to control their systems via vocalization, they have provided these control panels for other species to have limited access and control. If you have trouble, please find Noah for help. Remember, the Valane name numbering system is base 4. Drag from one blob to another to form the Valane digits. Drag between blobs to disconnect. The standard panel has five digits, but a single digit panel... Si single digit panels are also used. Use only first digit to simulate a one digit panel, zero to three. All panels will autocorrect for invalid. Oh. So we've got... Those might actually just be a weird answer sheet to some kind of homework. Yeah. Oh. So that's that's one. So one, two, three? No. no. Try that one. Let's so that one's one. I thought that one was... That was two. You sure? Yeah, I believe that one was too. You're right, that's two. But the next one most definitely is not three. Yeah. Okay, the next one was this. This. I have the hardest time because it doesn't work backwards sometimes. That's nine. Was that what it was on the sheet? Well, it doesn't say on the sheet. Oh. But yeah, that that is what it was on the sheet. Yeah. See, here's the problem. I don't understand base four numbering systems, and I'm. Well, we're we would just have to write it down. Do you want to get me to get a pad of paper? This is probably too much what I'll all looked up is like a steam guide of like hey no we're not but, using steam guides but like i don't i literally don't understand how this goes to 1 and then this goes to 2 like it's i don't understand it and yeah i could write down every digit forever and probably solve it eventually but like well if Remember, under they said that to only use numbers 1 through 3 or something? Yeah, only use only first digit to simulate a 
one digit panel, zero to three. So that means on the fourth digit, it goes to the next cycle of where they're positioned. So if that third one was nine, then is it, is that 10, the almost this, square uh, beneath it? Because it rotated the upper one once. Eighteen. No, it's eighteen. Yeah. I mean, in this case, this is one plus eight. From what I can tell, because that's eight. Right here. That's four, so this would be five. Like, I understand how the pattern works, but I don't understand the f fundamental. And after a certain point, it gets confusing. Like, what the hell happens when you do this? Would this be... Nope, I have no idea, actually. <laughs> it's like weird zigzaggy. Like this is why the the whole steam guide system would be nice because I'd like to understand the fundamentals as opposed to the answers. Because I'm not getting the fundamentals from looking at this or that sheet. Uh, I'm sure if I talk to Bird well, or Keith about it, they'd be able to tell us. Well, if we memorize one through four, I think. But like that's thirteen. Why is that thirteen? Because what was ten? Um, I I don't remember what we, 10 was. Can we look up 10? Sure. Do my poor photo thing, uh, shot. So I think we went up to like 15 here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 7, 2, 8. 3, 4, what? It's not even in order. What is this? Oh, remember it mangles our pictures. Oh, come on. Which Are is you... why I want to get out the good I old also trusty pen and paper. I can't seem to, oh. Uh, what? Oh. Oh. <laughs> you didn't take a, a photo. Okay, so with when I press spacebar. Yeah? I didn't realize that it would have to be within those bounds. Yeah, yeah, of course they would, but. I can get a pen and paper. I mean, you can. I just, I just want to understand how, like, There's, why this it, is it, how it, it is. It all rotates. Here, I'll grab this paper so that you can visualize it. If that's eight, why is that eight? Why is this eight? Like, if it all got smushed together in one thing, it would make sense to me. But it doesn't. And I'm confused. 